Hi, this is an overview of the Big Blue Button Client. When you join a session, the Big Blue Button Client loads up in the browser and you have two options to join the audio. You can join listen only or microphone. Here I'll choose microphone. It will put you into an echo test, which allows you to hear your audio coming back from the server. You can make sure the audio sounds good. Microphone's working. And I click yes, and it'll join you into the audio bridge. You can now see the Big Blue Button Client. Here's a presentation area where the instructor will update the slides. This is the chat area. And the left panel here shows you the users list and a couple other options for public chat and shared notes. You can see as I'm talking, my icon is highlighting and I'm currently unmuted. Tara, who is also the presenter, her icon is red, which shows she's muted. If I click the microphone icon here to mute, I can mute and I can unmute myself. By default, you're in the public chat. Here you can chat with anyone in the session. So if I say hi, my message will appear. Other people's message will appear as well. I can click on anyone's name and do a private chat. This would just be between me and that person. So here chatting with Tara, if I say, what time does the class, class start? She can respond back and only she and I will be in the session. I can close this panel, give myself more room for the presentation, or I can open it up again. There's another area here called shared notes, which is a collaborative area for all users in the session to write. So the instructor can write some stuff at the top, uh, main points of the session, I'll go main point, A, B, C, and you can just collaborate together. And again, I can close this by just clicking the same label. I can also click on my name to set my status. So here I can set an emoji, happy, so I'll click happy. The moderator can clear all the emojis. There, it was just cleared as well. I also have the ability to share my webcam. So I can go down here and click share webcam. It'll come up, it'll give me a choice of cameras, and I'll click start sharing. In a moment, my video will appear. And since there's only one video, it'll be in the lower hand corner. As soon as someone else shares their video, the videos will pop to the top. And now the webcam, we see two of them. When you have two or more webcams, you can actually minimize the presentation area. And if I want, I can actually minimize the panel on the left. So now it's just a video chat. So, hi Tara. Okay, and I can bring the chat back and I can bring the presentation back. And to stop sharing webcams, I'm just gonna click the stop sharing at the bottom. In the presentation area, the instructors will probably upload slides. So here's a slide, and I can see the instructor moving their mouse pointer around. This slide is a question. The instructor could actually do a poll at this point. And if you have a poll, you'll see the options come below, and I think the correct answer is A. At some point, the instructor can publish the poll, and you see the results below. Notice there's an icon here in the lower left-hand corner. Sometimes the instructor may upload slides and give you the ability to download them. If you do, you click on it, it opens up in a new page, and you have the slides there. But if you don't see that, it just means the instructor hasn't made the slides available for download. In the presentation area, the instructor can draw on the whiteboard. And the instructor may also give you the ability to draw as well with multi-user whiteboard. So here, I can choose the pen tool, and I'm going to choose the color blue. And now I can draw, and the instructor can draw at the same time as well. Okay, and the instructor can take away the drawing controls, and then they can also clear the whiteboard as well. You may also be invited to join a breakout room. And when you do, the screen will show you the option to join. Okay, so here I've been invited to join breakout room one. I click join and notice that a new tab opens up. So I'm actually in a new tab and I'm still in the main room. I'm gonna join the audio here in the breakout room. Same as before, I do a quick echo test and then you go in. Test, test. And now I'm in the session with all other students who are there. And it shows me the top how long the breakout room is. Everyone in a breakout room comes in as a moderator, so I have the ability now to upload a presentation, write on the whiteboard, collaborate with others, share notes and everything. I'm still in the main session, so if I click on the previous tab, I can see that I'm still here in the main room. And I could ask the instructor, you know, could you join us in room one if I needed some help. At some point, uh, the instructor can close the breakout rooms, in which case this room will close. And when it does, you're brought back to the main room where you're invited to join the audio again. So it's very quick to go in and out of breakout rooms. During the session, you may also see that it's being recorded. And if you see it being recorded, you'll see it up here as a count timer. So here it's showing red, it's being recorded. 
And at some point, the instructor may pause the recording as well. And there it's paused. If you need help on using Big Blue Button, there's a help menu here. It'll take you to a page which shows you some videos on how to use it. Finally, if you want to leave the session, just click log out, and that's it. You're done. And that's how easy it is to use Big Blue Button.